Good afternoon. We begin with the latest on the arson investigation into the Overbrook fire that left 60 people displaced. A 31 year old woman has now been charged with attempted murder. Crews battling the fire at the apartment building for hours Tuesday night. Four people, including a young child, were rescued from the 32 unit building. The investigation continues. Let's go live to CTV's Leah LaRock, who has the latest for us from the scene. Leah? Well, Matt, we're looking now at the aftermath from that devastating fire. As you mentioned, the uh, investigation continues. A 31-year-old woman has been charged. Pamela Schillingford has been charged with arson as well as attempted murder. This fire broke out uh, Tuesday evening around supper hour. Uh, you, we saw those dramatic images, about 60 people displaced from their home. It's a four-story unit. Uh, so many people rushed out, leaving uh, their personal belongings behind. And they, um, a lot of people still have questions about when they can return. We spoke to a couple of residents today and they say they still don't know when they're going to be able to go back. They're staying with family, they're staying with friends. One gentleman we spoke to said he's actually staying in a hotel right now. Uh, but this is the scene right now. Residents aren't here. Uh, yesterday, many of them coming, asking investigators on scene these questions. But it's been pretty quiet in terms of residents today. But we can see that the provincial fire investigation is still here. The fire unit is still here. Police is still here. It's still very much an active scene. Um, and just looking at the aftermath, it is quite dramatic. I'm looking through a hole in the fourth uh, floor here. Um, basically, you can't see any of the roof. So this uh, building has been damaged heavily. It will be a long process uh, to recover. Uh, investigators were here taking pictures, walking throughout the entire property here. But uh, it really, um, for many residents, it's just a lot of questions in terms of this is their home. When, they, when will they be able to go back? Uh, but a 31-year-old woman has been charged with arson, attempted murder, and the investigation continues. Matt. And all the, the cold temperatures and the water damage, I'm sure extensive CTV's Leah the Rock live for us today. Thanks, Leah.